guys. Today we are at the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center located in Virginia Beach, Virginia and the 3D Theater. So we're going to go in and take a look. We'll go take a look at the, the seals first. It's right over here. So let's go take a look at the seals. There's a seal. He looked up at him while he was taking the picture. There okay, there he is. So that's the seals. All right, let's go inside and take a look. Okay, now we're inside the aquarium. We went through the entrance and we're going to begin our walk around. This is just a little outdoor area. Just a little, uh, it's almost like an atrium. Uh, some of the birds that you can be found inside here. Uh, first exhibit. Some fish here. Some bluehead chub, crescent shiners, some darters. There's a turtle back here. These are some fish from the coastal rivers. talking about the Chesapeake Bay. The early years of the Chesapeake Bay. This is uh, talking about the sediment and the bottom of the waterways. So you can learn this uh, educational section. Over here is a spot about the uh, oysters. and information all about that. Now we're going back here. There is a Komodo dragon somewhere back in here. He's over there laying. where you can crawl underneath through a little tunnel and take a look from the inside. We'll do that in a little while, as soon as we get around there. There's another shot of another dragon. Okay, so we're gonna continue on and go underneath and try to take a look from underneath. You can crawl right underneath here. Okay, here's a tunnel. You actually go underneath the, the aquarium, the water. Uh, they have the same thing in Ocean Park in Hong Kong. Thank you. 
section has uh, frogs and bugs. Oh, a snake. Cool. So, this is our Maclots python. Maclots pythons live in Southeast Asia and they are really good. They're called water pythons so they can swim and they can also climb really well. So if you'd like to touch, you can come on over. Absolutely. I'm going to hold him up here. Oh, nice. up here and then go down his body. So it's a python. You can touch him. You want to go touch him? There you go. Matthew's here. You can go touch the snake. Some frogs. Really small. See him back there, tiny little frogs. There's a toke gecko hiding in the back. Okay, there's some snipe fish and sea perch. Hello. This is an Egyptian cobra. I'm glad I'm out here. Okay, down here is a lot of resporos. There's a couple of little small sharks in there, some bala sharks in here also somewhere. section coming back here looks like we have uh, sharks and sea turtles and here's a display about deep water waves shows how waves work in the in the ocean back here's uh, some stingrays which you can uh, actually touch so let's go take a look you can actually pet the stingrays they will come up to you some of them are very friendly and here's the tank right here. So we'll go take a look. <laughs> Feels squishy. Matthew's gonna try to touch. Matthew making a rare appearance in the video. Stay away from. Here comes a big one. <laughs> so here's a shot of the whole heading pool for the stingrays. 
and it's totally harmless, totally safe. There's Matthew down there. So that's the stingray petting area. see underneath the tank the whole way as you walk. It starts way back there. Some horseshoe crabs here. That's a sexual integration on the clock. The boxing glove means it's a male. And if it's a walking claw like this, then it's a female. Both of these are male. So the reason it's a boxing so, glove. Wait, so if it's if it's one like that, it's her, then it's female. Yeah. It's so like horseshoe, horseshoe crab. These boxing gloves would be replaced with walking claws like this. That means it's female. The boxing glove indicates that. Okay. So the reason why. So this is a touch thing. Like I said, you can't touch social crab if you'd like. This is hand sanitizer. <laughs> Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Touch it next time. Okay, now we're going to walk through a little <laughs> tunnel here. Lots of pictures of uh, different things. And it's a mirror, so it's like a mirror hallway. It's pretty cool to look through. Pictures like this all along the way. rescues and stuff. So there's a lot of educational things here. Not only see the animals, but learn all about them, their habitats. So this here is talking about um, when they found an injured sea turtle. So, animals are rescued, rehabilitated. Lots of other things you can touch here. Interactive. I learn lots. Seals. You can learn more about seals. A lot of interactive learning here. So we're going to continue and eventually get to see the shark tank. Showing how the boats, they, dra the, they drag like the echo sounder, sonar, and it continuously bounces back. And then they get an image of what's under the water. So that's a sonar image. So this demonstration is showing how the boats drag the little right here. That's what they drag through the water. Practice uh, controlling, and you can look at the screens and try to pick up a, I don't know if it's a shell or what it is, but you can actually practice like uh, underwater. Matthew's doing it right now, trying to pick up items by using these controls. So a lot of hands-on stuff. 
It's great for young children trying to learn about oceanography, sea life. So this is what we're going to see in just a minute. raises baby turtles and watches their development, their different stages of development. And here are some of the, the baby turtles. So these are raised here in the aquarium. Okay, and here they have some coral reefs and information about the coral reefs and how to protect. Things like do not touch the reef and all those things. Here's a lionfish. And the spines on the fish are venomous. So it's a venomous fish. And sea urchin. A big whale, dolphin, hammerhead shark. These are things hanging above your head. Okay, now we're talking about sharks, sand tiger shark, what the jaw looks like. There's a nurse shark. This is the jaw of a great white shark. We're all familiar with that. Here's uh, what the teeth look like. So that's the great white. So next we're going to see a few different species of sharks. I'll show you right here. And some stingrays. And a bunch of different fish. So let's take a look at that.
Okay, they're giving a demonstration. Sharks, yes, our sharks and our rays are our last one friends. Or our cartilaginous fish. So when I say bony fish and cartilaginous fish, I'm talking about their skeleton. So when you exit the aquarium, you immediately come to the gift shop and the area where you can purchase the pictures that they took of you when you first came in. So a lot of souvenirs here and like I say, they take a, a nice picture when you first enter. And if you're interested to purchase it, you can get it just before walking into the gift shop. So we're out of the main exhibit now. Here is a place where you can sign up for memberships. Pick up your photos again. Down here, there's a cafe here and a theater. So they have different shows you can see at the theater. Popcorn, just like at a regular movie theater. And here is the entrance to the cafe. Let's check that out. The cafe is open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. And here's the cafe. So it's a nice little cafe. And we're gonna walk outside. It's a little area you can walk outside and then uh, we'll check that out. Okay guys, we're outside now. Just uh, next to the uh, cafe is where you walk outside. It's real nice in summer. It's a mild day today. It's not too bad. It was five below Celsius this morning. Uh, you can still see ice here. It's water, but it's a lot of ice. The white you see is definitely frozen. So it's a little better than it was this morning. Just want to show a little bit of this. There's uh, where you can walk outside here and you can walk all around. And looking back, that is the cafe section. And then over here is, it's a lot bigger than what you can see, but that is um, the main part of the aquarium. And for those local, the road just back here to access the aquarium is General Booth Boulevard. The entrance to the aquarium is off General Booth. Okay, now we're gonna continue walking. It's nice out today, so why not? Here's Matthew again. Matthew Bull. birds flying around back here really nice little observation area as you can see aquarium is back there the white building it's just uh, a lot of really big birds out here I don't know if they're herring or what but really big and one of them over here just caught a fish and his little friends are trying to steal it from him so we'll see how that plays out hey guys that was the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center hope you enjoyed the walk around please come back Watch more videos real soon. Please like and subscribe. Uh, down below in the links, I'm going to leave a, a link to the website so you can check everything out pertaining to the, the aquarium here if you're interested in checking it out, including ticketing pricing and hours of operation. So thanks for watching.